Heat maps are a great way to show spikes in the data. You can use any two sets of fields to do this, sometimes more, and the higher the distribution of fields, typically the more interesting the analysis. Now, heat maps are one of the easiest things to build, and professionally speaking, stakeholders love these because they're also very easy to understand. <laughs> In this video, we're going to talk about heat maps and heat maps are super important and super useful because of the way it makes use of color. So let me show you an example, right? I'm going to build something and then I'm going to quiz you, right? And then I'm going to see how long it takes you to do it. So let's go. I'm going to build something like, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. so I'm kind of just making this up as I go at the moment. So I just want like a relatively large grid. Let's just say uh, Metro, let's do Metro, something like that. Okay, I'm going to move my face for a second. Okay, and I'm going to go entire view. Cool. And then I'm going to put the delivery fee in the text. Okay, and I'm going to ask you, can you tell me where the highest value is or the lowest value or where the concentrations are? Okay, it's all right, I'll wait. Yeah. Look, you'll probably find it's not easy. And this is kind of a prevalent issue I see in the industry in that this is how we give information to people. We just give them in giant tables. And what we really should be doing um, and what I want you guys to learn is when we create data and when we communicate it, it needs to be what we call actionable data. It means it needs to suggest through design or through colors or how you've built it, it suggests to the person, what do we need to do next? Okay, what action do we need to take? Where are the problems? And let's discuss those. So what if I change this to something like this? Straight away, you're like, oh, it's right there. <laughs> right? And it's so much easier because of the use of color. This is a heat map. Okay, and it's super useful. And I'll show you exactly how to build it. So let's start from scratch. So I'm going to clear all this. Um, heat map is very simple. You can either use the show me right which is this one up here so let's go ahead and try that first so you just need one of each so let's say i'm going to be uh, bring result let's bring delivery fee and let's press this one on the top right so straight away i have a heat map now i can choose to leave the values in there right because people prefer it however sometimes the number because of the detail kind of takes precedence. People are more concerned with the number as opposed to, well, which one's highest, which one's lowest. That kind of gets the conversation going. So what you can do is just get rid of this text. Okay. So you just get rid of that and you just have color. And one thing you can do is you can just sort this. Okay. So I can just use these buttons up here. So let's go highest to lowest. And that basically should be the start of the conversation, right? You And you can see because of the color scale, this no answer is significantly high, higher than the rest. I'll show you another example where color is very useful. So let's say I go here and I go color. You can see by size, it's significantly larger than, you know, more of them combined. So then it begs the question, why are there so many at no answer at address? Are we not going there at the right times? Do we have people knocking at like three in the morning, you know? So it, it gives more questions for further discussion so that your business can go, well, what action or strategy we need to take, okay? So that's why color is so important. All right, so that's your most basic heat map. That's all there really is. Um, I would suggest when you're first building it, start with something this simple and then kind of spread it out as you go. So if I want to, for example, bring interaction method in, it will keep splitting and keep scaling the colors. Okay, let's say I've got uh, interaction method. I want to see it by state and group. Let's say I want to do it like this. Let's make this a little bit narrower, make this a little bit taller. Okay, so then straight away I'm like, okay, it seems to be isolated to New South Wales. Cool, that's interesting. And also Victoria and WA kind of lagging behind a little bit. Let's go further to the right. We can see these are all great, so they're not as big of an issue. So I'm just going to move this um, label over to the left, actually, just grabbing by the heading, okay, just so we can see. So uh, just to add to this a little bit more, let's say I kind of want to full screen this. So let's go entire view. Um, and I want to explain something. So let's say you're in a meeting room and they go, so, you know, Jed, what's going on with the interactions, you know, um, in terms of corporate notice and government notice, what's the split? Okay, cool. I can say, listen, we're getting a lot of them in New South Wales and Victoria and WA. It seems to be kind of where all our efforts are 
kind of um, fall into. So then you can kind of go further. Well, it's like, okay, let's say we dealt with that. What's the next one? Okay, so we're not going to cover this just yet, but I just want to show you what you can do. I can actually select these three, okay, and just exclude them from any analysis. What that does is it rescales all the colors and gives me the next group. Okay, oh, it's still New South Wales and Queensland, right? but it's this time customer has responded to notice. So I can go here and click on this one, we exclude that. And then it rescales again over and over. So you can see how Tableau really makes it easy to kind of dive deeper in your data and kind of discover what's going on without having to read massive tables of data. Okay, so that's just an example. So that is basically your heat map. There's really not much more to it. What I suggest is just have a play with it because it's one of those really simple things that it can't really break or go wrong. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.